Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to the Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering the Jaeger task for patch point 12.9, the most recent wipe, keeping up to date with all the latest information. And if there are any changes, I'll put them down in the pin post below. I do update these for each wipe. So, uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So Jaeger is unlocked by completing the introduction task from Mechanic where you need to go into woods and pick up his uh, letter and then survive an extract raid and hand it into Mechanic. Once you've done that, you unlock the Jaeger quest line and you can start getting through these quests, being the first one, Acquaintance. Now for this one, you need to find in raid three Iskra lunch boxes, two Amelia Rye croutons and two delicious beef stews. And that's the brown can, not the reddish yellow cut can of uh, Tushonka. So... Uh, the first and easiest way to get this quest done is to go into either woods or reserve and you want to loot the ration supply crates. Now on woods, there's a fair few locations now with the ration supply crates and I'll put them up on a map for you now. However, the next best bet is to go into reserve and there are four located in, in close proximity to each other uh, in the bunker section underneath the helicopter. And then you can search those four ration supply crates and then survive an extractor raid to hand them in. Shouldn't take you too long to get this quest done. Um, I generally got it done in a few raids, but um, you can also do this passively as you're doing other quests anyway. Once you hand all these in, you can uh, hand in the quest and move on to the next one. So I'm going to start off with the survivalist path being unprotected and but dangerous. So what you need to do is you need to go into woods and kill five scavs whilst not wearing body armor. Now, there are a few bugs at the moment where you can wear certain particular body armors that were just added to the game. But at the moment, um, that will get fixed. And so then, therefore, you should just do it the normal way that you should. My tactic is to actually wear body armor into the raid, get to a position where I can see a scav. I quickly uh, press the lead on my body armor and it throws it off myself. And then I will shoot the scav. After you do five of this, you just put your armor back on and you continue the raid just like normal. And there's no dramas there whatsoever. So after five scavs, hand in the quest and move on to the next one. Survivalist Path Thrifty. For this quest, you need to go into woods and you need to take in two Iskra MREs and two bottles of water. You need to go both to the ZB016 bunker and the ZB014 bunker, which you don't need the key to do this quest. And then once you get into both of those bunkers, you just place down the water and MRE and then survive and extract the raid. Once you've done that, uh, hand in the quest and move on to the next one. Uh, Survivor's Path, Zivchik. I'm guessing it's Zivchik, but I'm calling it Zivchik and it's fun to say Zivchik. This one you need to be dehydrated for five minutes in a raid and then survive an extract. The easiest and fastest way to do this is to eat a full can of uh, Devil Dog's mayo, guzzle please mayo. And once you've guzzled that down, pop a propital stim. The propital stim goes for about five minutes and it keeps you at full health. And then you just need to survive and extract the raid. If you want to uh, make it so it's a little bit easier after you've uh, dehydrated for five minutes, and you can check the status of it in the uh, task uh, task bar on your uh, quest list. Uh, once it says you've actually been dehydrated, drink some water and then you don't have to worry about the dehydrated side of things. Once you survive next shot raid, hand that one in. Survivalist Path Wounded Beast. For this, you need to kill three scavs while suffering from the pain effect. Now, I do believe that if you are dehydrated, you are uh, under the pain effect and you can dehydrate yourself and then kill scavs that way. Um, generally, I do this quest just by playing the game normally and then just shooting scavs as they shoot me. And over time, you'll get uh, you'll get this quest done fairly easily. So um, you can be dehydrated or use broken bones to, to get this quest done, but it's up to you how quickly you want to get done. If you are for some reason struggling to get three scavs killed whilst under the pain effect, then break a bone or get dehydrated. Survival's Path, tough guy. For this one, you need to go into woods kill three scavs and then survive the raid without using medical items now there is a trick to this that you can do so if you do kill three scavs and then you get hit and you're going to die if you don't think you can make it to the extract you can just let yourself die and then go back into the raid and then survive and extract the raid without using meds so um as long as you don't use meds at all the quest won't cancel itself and you can continue on the quest onto the next raid so that is a little trick behind it um, if you want to go down that path, if, if you are really worried about your survival rate for whatever silly reason that is, um, you can heal yourself and then just go and do the quest again anyway. Survival's path, cold blooded. For this one, you need to get two PMC kills with a tremor, sorry, two PMC kills via headshot 
whilst having a tremor. And it says in bracket broken limb, um, you can have a broken limb or you can be dehydrated. The way to do it is if you've got a broken arm, wait 40 seconds. So have a broken arm, go into a raid, wait 40 seconds and the tremor debuff will kick in. Then you just go into and say a factory, like do that in a factory raid, go around, shoot two people in the head or three people in the head. Uh, yeah, sorry, two people in the head. And then you've got the quest done. Um, otherwise, uh, you can dehydrate yourself for this quest as well. So dehydrate yourself, go into a raid, wait 45 seconds to a minute and then you'll have the tremor buff, get the headshots, and uh, pretty straightforward there. Survivalist Path, a junkie. Now for this one, you need to kill 15 scavs on woods whilst having a stimulant effect. There's a couple of options for this. My personal favorite is, use, is either using a Propital or an SJ6 stim, um, but the other option you do have is to use milk, and it'll give immunity for like a, uh, five minutes. So if milk's not too expensive at the time, um, buy some milk, eat, the, eat slash drink the milk, and then uh, kill the 15 scavs. So that's another option you've got there to get those kills. Survivalist Path, uh, Eagle Owl. So for this one, you need to kill six scavs between 2100 and 0400 without using MVG or Thermal Sight. The, probably the easiest way to do this one is to go into Interchange during those hours because inside Interchange is not really that dark and you just run around and kill six scavs and it's fairly straightforward. So that is probably the best option. It's up to you if you want to do it on a different map. Uh, Survivor's Path Combat Medic. For this one, you need the level five Vitality skill. Now you have a few options for leveling Vitality skill. Uh, you can either take damage or have blood loss. Uh, the other option is to complete the quest Ambulance. So if you hold out um, the Ambulance skill or the Ambulance quest until you are level four in Vitality, then you can hand this in and get to level five and then that way it'll be a little bit easier but generally the rule of thumb is just take damage and you'll level up your vitality skill courtesy visit for this quest you need to go into shoreline and you need to go to the priest house fisherman house and the chairman's house so these are all located in the swamp area on shoreline once you're at the swamp um from the church in the swamp you want to head up to the hill where the cult quest is uh and it's the one with the body inside of it go inside there and you'll have the first one done. From there, head across to the greenhouse. So you're heading directly towards the uh, the wall or the external wall of the map. Uh, and you'll see that greenhouse standing by itself. Uh, this one's really good for technical spawn. So go inside there and you'll have the second one done. That is the chairman house. And then after you leave that house, take a 90 degree turn to the left. And it's the closest house to the left hand side as you're running uh, directly back towards that swamp village. After you've seen all three of these houses, uh, you just hand in the quest, very straightforward. Nostalgia, for this quest, all you need to do is go into the West Wing 303 room. There's no key required to get into this room and pick up Jaeger's photo album from inside the drawers next to the bed and hand this quest in. Once you hand in this quest, you do get a document case, which is really handy to have and you get the HEP station key, which is the, for the power station in the middle of the map. Ambulance, for this quest, you need to get a defibrillator and two CMS kits found in raid and hand it in to get this quest done. Now, the CMS kits can be found in any of the meds, uh, med supply crates and med spawns throughout the game. So they should be fairly straightforward for you to get. However, the defibrillator you can craft in the hideout. Um, if you are struggling to get it in, in a raid, the hideout craft is um, needed. Uh, you need med station level two for it. However, if you do want to find it in raid, the ultra medical room has pretty good chances of spawning it. Otherwise, you need to go into labs to find this item. Um, personally, I would just probably do the craft as the safe, safer method. And just reiterating from the uh, the combat medics uh, quest from before, you could potentially save this quest until you're already level four vitality. So then that way, when you hand this in, that would get you to level five to hand in the combat medic quest. Reserve. Now for this one, all you need to go into is reserve. You need to go into the bunker underneath the hermetic door where the four cages are. And once you go into the middle of that area, there's uh, it'll trigger the quest completion. And you just need to survive and extract the raid to complete this quest. Huntsman Path secured uh, perimeter. For this one, you need to go into factory and get six PMC kills in the office area on factory. For this quest, it includes the staircases on both ends of the factory area or the office area. So the staircases going up and down, the bathroom floor and the top floor for the office area. You need to kill the people while they're inside there. You don't have to be inside there. So. Um, if you're standing inside there shooting people out of there, then wait for them to come in. 
Uh, it's 6 PM sea kills. It'll take you at least two raids, but generally it takes four or five because sometimes people just don't want to fight inside there. Huntsman Path, Woods Cleaning. For this one, you just need to kill 30 scabs on any map. It's pretty straightforward and uh, you'll just get this one passively done over time. Huntsman Path, Controller. You need to kill two PMCs blinded with Flashbang. Now this can use the KS-23 shotgun. So KS-23 shotgun you buy from Prepper Level 2. The Flashbang rounds you buy from Prepper Level 3. Go into Factory. Shoot them with the uh, the shotgun with the flash round and then just kill them with any other gun. Do this to two PMCs and you'll have this quest complete really easily. Otherwise, use flashbangs and just keep throwing them until you know they're flashed and you'll be able to get this quest done. Huntsman Path, Evil Watchman. This one, you're going to get five PMC kills in the dorms area. Now, this is the three-story dorms and two-story dorms. And I do believe it's also the area in between the two dorms. So uh, there's plenty of room to get these kills. Generally, just go to three-story dorms, wait by the marsh room, and people will come to you. That's all you need to do, really. You can sometimes get five PMCs to all come to the marsh room in the one raid. So that would be my suggestion on trying to get this one done quickly. Huntsman Path, the trophy. For this one, you need to go into Customs and kill Rashala, and then also grab his Golden TT and find, find it in raid and survive an extract with it. So uh, Rashala spawns at the new gas station, the dorms, and the big Skeletor building in the middle of the map. And he has four minions with him. Um, generally, if you're just using BT ammo, you can cut through these guys pretty easily. Um, sometimes they'll have Alton face shields and helmets on. So that's where BS and 7 and 39 kind of ammunitions will get through a bit quicker. But generally, these this scav boss is, I would argue, is the second easiest scav boss to kill. Um, and you only need to kill Rashala and grab the uh, the golden TT. Sometimes you'll kill him, he won't have the golden TT. So if that's the case uh, and you kill him and he doesn't have it, you don't even need to worry about killing his minions. You can just leave and um, go back and try and get it another time. Huntsman Path, Justice. For this one, you need to kill three scavs that are dressed in police uniform. This is Rashala's minions. So after you've already killed him and got his golden TT, you need to go back in and then kill his minions to hand in for this quest. Huntsman Path, Sellout. For this one, you go into Interchange and you need to kill Killer and loot his helmet and have it found in raid and handed over. Now you can take the face shield off when you hand in this helmet uh, and for the quest completion. And so that way you'll save a little bit extra money, but um, pretty straightforward. Killer spawns in the middle of interchange. The best way of killing him is M61 ammunition with an MDR. That's the uh, 308 variant. Um, he has been buffed quite heavily and he's quite annoying to try and kill. So. Um, try your best, but M61 is usually the easiest and best way to kill him. Huntsman Path, Woods Keeper. For this one, you need to kill Sturman and loot the Sturman key and survive and extract the raid and hand it over. For this, I find Sturman the easiest scab boss to kill. Once you know his location throughout the lumber mill, it's very straightforward. Now, he's meant to spawn also over in the sunken village, but at the moment, it doesn't. He doesn't seem to spawn over there. So um, you can go up on top of the big rock and snipe down towards him. And once you know his locations, you can snipe him without him even firing back because you're up on the big high ground. Um, but generally, my fastest and easiest tactic to kill Sturman is to go into the, uh, the the warehouse there from the back side of it. And then you go inside and you'll kill one of his minions inside there. And then he'll have a second minion running around. And then it just comes down to a 1v1 using SMGs or any fast firing gun. They don't wear helmets, so you can just headshot them to get the kill. Huntsman Path, Eraser Part 1. For this one, you need to go into Reserve and kill Glucker. All you need to do is kill him. You don't have to kill his minions. You don't have to loot anything. So just kill Glucker, and then you can hand this quest in. For Huntsman Path, Eraser Part 2, you need to kill six raiders, and this can be done on Reserve or Labs. So if you want to kill Glucker's minions or the, uh, the raiders that spawn on Reserve, you can go down that path or you can go into labs and just get the six raiders just in normal on labs. Huntsman Path, saddest. Now for this one, you don't need to do for the Kappa container uh, and it's to kill Sanator on shoreline. Now he spawns at either the docks, the cottages or the resort and um, he has two minions. Now the minions are scarier than him. He's, he's usually naked with an AS Val and uh, he, he sometimes uses a shotgun. It can be quite devastating if he catches you off guard, but the minions are generally the scarier one out of these three in my opinion. Um, but you can snipe him from some locations if you get lucky. So it um, comes down to a little bit of you know luck involved in that one. Fishing plates. For this quest, you need to get two found in raid labs key cards and then hand them over. As you're killing scav bosses, you should be finding lab key cards in their pockets or their backpack. And uh, as you uh, loot them, 
put them aside for this quest and you only need two and just hand it over for the quest to get it done and then move on. Hunting trip. Now this task has changed of recent. It's now kill Sturman with a Remington M700 using the specific site, which is the March Tactical 3-24x42 F fp scope my suggestion for this is go on the big hill in the middle of uh of woods and look down towards uh the lumber mill and then snipe him it's a lot of fun from the top of that hill it's usually about 250 meters um so if you want to use the the mill dots on a voodoo or you want to just zero it and try your best luck with that m62 rounds with the m700 good to go for the headshot and have some fun with this. I actually find these kind of tasks really fun to do. Shady business. For this task, you need to find three found in raid flash drives and then hand it in. After you've done the quest for skier, I'm pretty sure shady business unlocks and then you need to do the three for Jaeger. So you need five of these in total. So every time you find one of these, start saving them. The flash drives are found in safes or in computers, but safes is easily the easiest and fastest way to get them. If you're still, if you got to this point and you haven't watched the other guides, the fastest way to do it is um, go to customs, three-story dorms, 204 or 214, two-story dorms, 105, 110, 114, or head over to Shoreline. You've got the cottages and then down by the pier, um, you can get some more safes down there. Pretty uh, safe and easy ways to get into the safes in my opinion. All right, so moving into the Tarkov Shooter series. For Tarkov Shooter Part 1, you need to kill five scavs over 40 meters without a uh, sight on a bolt action rifle. Now, you can use a Mosin, you can use an M700, an SV98, whatever the bolt action rifle is your choice for the day. Um, you can also use the VPO. So, um, I usually do this one on shoreline because you can get the 40 meter range fairly easily, but this used to be 60 or 75 meters. So they've reduced it a lot. Um, so you can probably do this on a nearly any map just because 40 meters isn't really that far away. Um, so yeah, go in, shoot them. If you're using a Mosin, um, I usually use SNB ammo. Uh, it's personal preference, but SNB usually is the best, in my opinion. Um, if you're using a uh, Remington or a DVL, uh, M62 is my ammo of choice, but you can use M80. Tuck of Shooter Part 2. This one you can use a sight, but from over 40 meters away, you need to shoot them in the legs three times. Shoot a uh, scav in the legs three times and make two sh headshots over 40 meters. So, shoreline again, um, I would just shoot scavs in the legs until you've got all three and then finish them off in the head um, for the next two. And that's very straightforward this task particularly with uh the the range or the meters distance being reduced tuck of shooter part three now a lot of people have issues with this quest to kill three pmcs under 25 meters with a bolt action rifle factory mosin snb ammo all you need go for the headshots and you could just go naked with a mosin and go for headshots and if you can if you can make the shot You'll probably get a lot of gear out of it because you'll one shot them in the head no matter what. Uh, the SNB ammo is quite cheap on the flea market and the Mosins you can pick up on the flea market cheap as well. So um, that's my tactic and my theory on this one. If you are struggling on that map, you could try different maps, um, but the fastest and easiest way will be factory. Tuck of Shooter Part 4, uh, level up sniper rifles to level 3. For this one, uh, every time you shoot a scav or a player, you get about 0.5 of a skill point and then there's diminishing returns after that. So if you go into a raid and you make land 10 of your shots, you'll usually go up two to three skill points, um, sometimes even more. Uh, so to get level three, you need 60 skill points. So you're probably looking at about 12 to 15 raids of being uh, going in with a bolt action rifle to get level three. If you're uh, taking a few shots to kill stuff. My tactic with this is not to actually headshot scavs or thorax them. Hit them in the legs two or three times and then finish them. It doesn't hurt you at all to take a little bit longer. If you're at a bit of range, the scav will just stand there like an idiot and miss you most of the time. So you can actually level up your sniper rifle skill pretty quick if you deliberately just aim for the limbs before you finish them. And if you shoot a scav in the leg, they will just walk and not run. Tuck off shooter part five. For this, you need to kill eight scavs on customs with a bolt action rifle between 2100 and 0500. Now the fastest and easiest way is to go into this time zone or this time frame and then just go for the sniper scavs initially and then any other scavs you see along the way. Um, and that's generally the tactic that I do. And learning the sniper scav spawns on customs can help out because Tarkov Shooter Part 6, which is the quest I'm talking about now, is you need to kill five scavs as snipers with a bolt action rifle. So on customs, there is five sniper scavs that you can kill. One's on top of a construction warehouse. The second one is on top of the big chimney in the middle of the map. The third one is on top of the warehouse um, in the towards the boiler side of the map. The fourth one is on the little checkpoint tower in the, uh, at checkpoint. 
And the fifth one is located behind checkpoint in the rocks on the hill, uh, which is very rare to, to people who actually see it. And it's nearly always up there. So you just keep an eye out for that one. It spawns a little bit later in the raid and you can get five in the one raid if you're lucky. So um, learning those sniper scav spots can actually help you getting uh, scav kills as well. Tarkov Shooter Part 7. For this, kill five PMC operators with a suppressed bolt action rifle at least 45 meters away. Can do this on any map. It's a lot more fun to do it on woods and you just try and do it from really far away for a bit of fun. Using a voodoo sight on any of your bolt action rifles. M700 using M62 ammunition is my personal favorite because the M62 ammunition is a trace around and the bolt action, uh, the Remington uh, suppressed sounds really cool. So Remington suppressed, put a voodoo sight onto it, go into woods and then have some fun um, taking these shots. So uh, that's my personal preference. You can do it on any map that you like and you can also work on your shooter board in Heaven Quest while Whilst doing this tuck of shooter part eight now this is probably the sticking point for a lot of people trying to get their shooter series done because the three pmc kills in one raid of woods with a bolt action rifle with the expansion can make it a little bit difficult my tactic here is to rush the spawns as quickly as possible and get an early kill as fast as possible if you get that early kill then it, it, it kind of feels like it goes from a three right three pmc raid ki like kill spree to two and you just generally go around until you find a duo or two more singles running around getting their quest done. It really does come down to, you know, your skill level, I guess, with this one. But uh, it took me probably four or five tries of, uh, of getting this one. I know I got it for either two or three times in a row I got two before I got the actual three in a raid. Um, so can be a little bit of luck involved, a fair bit of skill involved in this one. And getting yourself in a position where players are moving uh, frequently is the key to getting through this quest now the final quest hunter which is the newest added quest to the game kill or eliminate sturman 25 times um, you can do this with any gun that you like and after you've killed him 25 times you unlock the uh, mark 18 338 lapua which is the most devastating gun in the game and you also get a weapon case as a reward so for this quest uh, for that quest uh it's pretty straightforward you'll learn the three spawns of him and his two minions in uh in the woods lumber mill and you'll just get into the habit of knowing where to check for these spawns and then as you run towards that area you'll check the spawns and the key to this one is to get as many or get the first kill as quickly as possible i go in through in the back of the warehouse as i push in there's usually one inside the warehouse i kill him the second one uh, activates and starts running around i try and get the headshot as he's still running around and then it's just a 1v1 against Sturman. And none of them wear helmets. So fast firing guns can get them uh, nice and quick uh, with the headshots. Or if you want to take it a bit slower, go up on top of the hill, have a snipe down and have some fun with it. There's no rush getting these quests done um, because there's no like, it's not the capper container behind it or anything like that and have some fun with it. All right, guys, that is it for Jaeger's task. Hopefully you guys found some good information out of that. If you liked the video or if it was useful in any way, please take the time to go and like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Helps out with discoverability. We re-update all these videos for all the wipes, which means they have to start at the lowest view account again, and then hopefully get back under the searching discovery list. So um, liking and commenting really does help with that part. And um, yeah, share it with your friends if they're new to Tarkov and they need help with any of these quests. Besides that, guys, um, feel free to write down in the comments below any questions. We'll try our best to answer them. Uh, subscribe, notification bell to keep up to date with the latest information. And also, I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go give me a follow over there and I'll uh, answer any questions to the best of my ability during my live streams. Uh, besides that, guys, um, I've just recorded eight of these in a row. <laughs> Pretty tired. Um, so I'm going to go to bed. So lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.